um, have a number of patients that I've come across in my years as a physician for whom we have a really hard time treating their infections because their blood systems are disrupted and they don't have um, a strong ability to produce the immune cells that are in, naturally in the blood. And so that motivated me to want to really understand more about how the bone marrow is normally regulated and how patients normally maintain the normal number of blood cells in order to fight an infection. These stem cells are, because they're responsible for producing all of the blood cell types, they're a very critical um, component of the of bone marrow and we need to maintain a level, um, a, a useful level of these stem cells. If they're getting exhausted or if we have too many of them, um, either one is, is going to be a problem because if you have too many you can get too much blood production, um, such in situations of cancer. Um, if, you, if you deplete them out too quickly then you have no, no more reserve of stem cells in order to replenish your bloodstream later on. And what we found in this study was that when we infect experimental animals with a, kind of a bacteria for a long period of time, um, meaning about four months, the number of stem cells in their body and in their bone marrow declines. And in fact, we saw a decline of about 95% of their stem cells were lost. And we think that these stem cells are actually um, over differentiating. So they're getting pushed because of this infection to replenish these cells that are getting used up in the course of the infection. And we think that they're differentiating instead of self-renewing. And so we're actually losing these stem cells over the course of the infection as they're trying to keep up with the increased demand. In looking at gene transcription in the stem cells during chronic inflammation and chronic infection, we can identify a certain number of genes that are upregulated or downregulated in the stem cells. And we've picked one of those that's called BATF2 that caught our attention because it's a transcription factor and it seems to have some role in, in differentiation. Out of all this work, we've been able to show that the, a potential mechanism by which this depletion is occurring. So these patients that are developing bone marrow failure, we have no real way other than just uh, doing repeated blood transfusions or giving them stem cell transplants, we have no way of really treating the, the problem or preventing the problem from occurring. So now that we have a better idea of how this mechanism is occurring, how the stem cells are getting lost and why this might be happening, we can potentially find ways to therapeutically have an intervention for this to prevent this from happening. We're hoping that by identifying genes like BATF2 or other particular gene targets that um, that mediate the effect of inflammation and infection on stem cells, that we could use those as therapeutic targets in the future. And so that if we can interrupt that pathway and say interfere with BATF2 signaling, perhaps we could help preserve the stem cell compartment even when you're having a chronic infection or persistent inflammation. Um, so we'd like to be able to use this information to intervene in a smart way um, in the loss of stem cells uh, to help protect the stem cell um, population over time.